We have an election next week. Yeah. In four days' time. Unfortunately, yeah. I won't have enough time to launch this podcast now uh, before the election. But I want to hear your point of view. Who's who is gonna win? Is it gonna Harris win. or Donald Trump? It's so close to call. I, I, I look. If I want to flick a coin, I don't know. If I, I don't know. I think it, reading the analysis and the speaking to the people that um, I'm speaking to, I will come in by a nose, and I, that's not. I'm not happy with any of them. I think they're both as bad as each other for humanity. So why do you humanity. hate? Why do you hate Donald Trump? I don't hate him. I'm just saying. Why do you hate Harris? I don't hate anyone. I don't hate. I hate. Point of clarification: I do hate one person in this world, and that I declare that openly and publicly to the world. This man is evil. I'm gonna cut. I can't put it. I Why can't not? Put this in on YouTube. You know that. <laughs> But let's I want to be honest. That's the only person I hate. I don't. I can't hate anyone else. But this man is Satan on earth. Yeah. Let's go back to Harris and Trump. And Trump. Yeah, I don't hate them. Who is better for the world, from your point of view? I I can't. I I really don't. I can't. That's my confusion. I wish I could say to you, somebody tells me, oh, Trump's going to come in, and he's going to end the war because he hates war. But he's going to give Israel 30 days or two months to bomb the hell out of where whoever they want to bomb the hell out of, give them all this weapons, they go for it. Annihilate Lebanon, annihilate Israel, uh, Palestine. How is that good for us? And then Kamala Harris, the Democrats say, shui, 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 shui. I'm be, they so give instead of two months, they, she's going to give them another, what, another what? two years? That's a, that's a problem. So die we, slowly or die fast. It, you're dead. We're dead. Who's better for Australia? Australia. Doesn't exist. No, no, of course it does. You know, Australia's manipulated so badly. You know, it's because of these ties with America that have gotten stronger, but not to our advantage. And I know people in intelligence, in high levels of politics in Australia. We have not benefited one iota out of our relationship with America. Our relationship in America, just one example, last year or two, two years ago, the Australian government cancelled the uh, agreement with France for the submarine, the $33 billion agreement. Yeah, I would do the same, by the way. <laughs> what did they do in exchange? What did they do in exchange? They signed a $360 billion agreement with America and Britain for freaking submarines. That, what do we need? $360 billion. Mm. So let the Australian people just got screwed massively. What the hell is that? Oh, well, it's, it's their choice. Uh, what do you mean it's their choice? Show me the logic. And even today's experts are saying, what the hell did we do? Well, I can't comment on like how, like, because I think America is... It's just, just basically, America, America basically, $36 billion versus $360 America, What? We are halat? Yeah, America and England are protecting Australia. Really, are they? 100%. Where? 100%. Where? Or else uh, I believe Australia will be occupied now no. by the Chinese. No. Easily occupied by the Chinese. But let me go back <laughs> to Harris. Trump, do you believe that the statement that Trump's statement let's make uh, America great again is a good statement? Is a fantastic statement? Is it great? Well, it's a, it's a slogan. Anything that can turn the people on. I'm in marketing. I'm in media. I'm in. Wow, what's gonna get people going? But make America like, straight again. Don't you feel like again? we need this slogan for every single country, including Lebanon? Of course. Let's make Lebanon great. But you're attaching it to Donald Trump. But he brought this slogan. It, it actually, no, no, it's actually Ronald Reagan 
when he won Fantastic. his campaign, he brought it, he borrowed it from Ronald Reagan. Oh, that's good. He reused it. He's good. repurposing it, yeah. But in a very and good it, it, and format. And it makes people feel, you know, sentimental of that era when Ronald Reagan did a great job. One of the good presidents for America protected America. Yep. He tried to protect American interests and tried to stop fascism and neoliberalism, which is so he actually spoke. There's a great video I've got of his speech. One of the best speeches, warning of what's happened now in America, warning of where America is right now. So you're saying Harris is going to win the election in 2024? That's my feeling. I think she'll nudge him. I can't see you convinced. I don't know, because it's so close. It's so close and you never know. Is what... this what you really want by heart? I don't want. No, you're asking me who do I yeah, think I intellectually. I don't want Harris or Donald Trump. So they're both bad as well. Of matter. course. But this is the the world, this is what the there's Jill Stein, she's the Green Party. I would love her to win, but she's not gonna win. She doesn't have the you know, mm. the hundreds of millions of dollars behind her or billion dollar campaign behind her. But she's gonna win some votes. She's oh. a good person if you follow Jill Stein. She's about ethics and values. Yeah, you know, that's what we need. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,